all right man so look uh i want to do a part two to kind of the video that i made like i don't know how long it was i think it was like a couple uh, probably like a week ago or going on a week i don't know it was a video like i was like exposing the black community at first the title was i hate black people now or the reason why i don't like being black i think that's what the title was um now i'm man enough and very humble enough to just come to my senses and realize that i could have took that video to a whole nother approach a different approach and i'm doing a part two now do i regret saying some of the stuff that i said in the video heck you know you know what i'm saying my opinion stays and that is the truth and it's the facts behind it you feel me and i pulled up proof too so it's not like i was just bluntly saying oh this and that and i know this is everything behind it when you open your eyes and see the truth that's in the black community but at the end of the day it was a whole lot of things that could have been said differently i'm getting bashed a lot for that video so why not feed off the energy now i got way more love than i got hate but at the end of the day i just want to feed off the energy so why not so first thing first let me apologize for how i said things because i'm learning in life words matter and the way that you say it matters you know what i'm saying you gotta it's like it's like trying to bring somebody to god in order to bring somebody to God, you got to do it out of love. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to come and shove things down their throat. You got to do it out of love. And I feel like I could have took that video to a whole different approach and I could have did it out of love. Now, a lot of people say, oh, you say black people are not oppressed. That's what a lot of people was focused on. So let me tell you exactly what I mean by that. And I'm break it down. I'm not going to make this video longer than what it uh longer than what it should be so all i need y'all do is hit the like button subscribe to my post notifications follow your boy on ig all links in the description box below without further ado let me explain to let me explain what oppressed mean now i already explained in the last video i literally said oppressed means when you don't have the same opportunity as another individual now literally is is self-explanatory okay being black in america i have the same opportunities that a white person have and i've done debated a lot of people about this and it was like well black people got to go through more and this and that we got to go through more we still fighting for our rights don't you think that we all got to go through some type of hell to get to a high point in life that's life life we all go through hell bro it's not just black people and i feel like black people fail to realize or some let me say some because apparently y'all think i'm talking about everybody everybody that's black no i'm talking about some black people they tend to forget that it's regular, regular, degular white people out there that's either poor or working a regular nine to five and that's literally going through the same struggles that we go through. Nothing in life is given to you, no matter what your skin color is. I don't care. I don't care how long it takes somebody to get to the top. At the end of the day, they got to the top. I got people telling me, oh, did you know that Abraham Lincoln, he didn't really want to free the slaves. At the end of the day, whether or not Abraham Lincoln wanted or did not want to free the slaves, guess what? He did it. It don't matter what was the reason why he did it, why he did it. It don't matter. It literally don't matter. You know what I'm saying? As long as he did it, that's all I, that's all I try to break down to people. I posted a picture saying, oh, how Ice Cube on his league. And I got badged and people coming at me for just saying that talk and because i said um i said this is proof that you can be anything you want in america with, with no matter what your skin color is he's black on the lead oh how why you think he went through that how long you think he got to that point and now he's just not on the lead bro you know a lot of black people they don't run for big things it wasn't a lot of black presidents that ran and it was a lot of women that did run for president but at the end of the day nobody's really voting in a woman okay let's be real no offense to women it's a lot of strong women out there you know what i'm saying but i just feel like a woman as president can't handle all the stress that comes with president i mean even biden can't do it himself you know even biden can't do it look at the man he's stressed out he's he's old we voted somebody granddaddy into office but that's besides the point you know what i'm saying and <laughs> i just got off track but um it's like Damn, what was I just at? Uh, this video is raw, bro. I'm not, I'm not cutting none of this. This is raw. I just literally forgot what I, I was at, but I'm just gonna go back a little bit. Okay, so we was talking about the oppression and how black people are not oppressed, and I was just saying, like, dude, we could be anything. Okay, back to the ice cube. That was I was that's where I was at. The ice cube situation. It don't matter how it don't matter what he had to go through to get there. Guess what? He got there. A lot of black people don't run for these big things. A lot of black people, they don't try to do big things in life because some black people are programmed. They feel like as if they're programmed. I feel like everything is within the mindset. That's why I was trying to get at. 
if you change your mindset, you can be anything that you want in life. No matter what black people had to go through, I understand the black history. I understand what we had to go through. I understand that it was slavery. I understand that we got treated worse than a lot of white people. I understand that. But I'm not going to allow what happened back then affect what can happen now. You know what I'm saying? History repeats itself, but it'll never get to a point where it's back in the, like where it was back in the 1600s. We can be something great. And that's all I try to get people to understand. You got to change your mindset. It's all within the mindset. The Bible says as a man think as, as he is. So if you think that you're oppressed, you're going to be oppressed. If you think and believe that you're oppressed, you're going to be oppressed. If you think and believe that you're broke, guess what you're going to be? Broke. But if you, if you like motivate yourself, push yourself and say, look, I ain't oppressed and truly believe that you're not oppressed. I ain't broke. You know what I'm saying? You may got $600 in your account, but hey, you you believe in and trust like, hey, I ain't broke. <laughs> you feel me? I ain't broke. Guess what? You not broke then. It's all within the mindset. It's how you think, bro. People talking about, oh, black people, job discrimination. Do you not realize that if a job decline you because of the color of your skin, you can sue them? You can sue. You can sue that company and get your bread. But, you know, look, you get your bread, baby. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Y'all got to realize this, man. Y'all got to open y'all eyes up. I get what black people been through. But at the end of the day, today we are better. We can be better. You could talk about police brutality, but it's police brutality in every single community. I seen Waka Flocka say something and it really stuck with me. Do y'all not realize that in America, we say whites, blacks, whites, blacks, this, whites, black, that. But you know, when we step outside this, this country, we consider as one, just Americans. It's not black. It's not white. It's not all you white. It's not all you black. No, it's all you American. We all consider one. Why can't in today's day and age, we can't be one? In America, let's just be one. Stop going racing this and racing that and racism this and racism that. At the end of the day, racism is, racism is still alive. It is still alive, and I'm not downplaying that. I'm not. But one thing I know for a fact is I'm not going to let no race make me feel as if I'm less of a person because of the color of my skin. But y'all be y'all, and y'all do y'all, man. To each his own. That's just how I think. To each his own. It's all within this head, bro. It's all within this. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man. Don't tell me I'm programmed. I'm not programmed to do nothing. And then y'all talking about, oh, you just getting the bag for the white man. Bro, do y'all not realize that I work a nine to five job? Do y'all not realize that? I stay with a roommate, y'all. Yes, I got my own crib at 19, but I also stay with my best friend. Bro, do y'all not realize that everything I have in this room, this took this took time to get. Took time to get. YouTube ain't paying me money to where I could just be like, oh, I quit 9 to 5. No, I work a regular 9 to 5 just like a regular person. I'm very humble to admit that. I wear the same clothes every week in every video, bro. How am I doing anything for the money? I'm doing this because I want unity in America. I will die behind this, bro. And it's scared to say that, but I'm, I'm dead serious. How passionate I am, I just came to the conclusion I might die behind it. It's hard to say that, but at the end of the day, God got me. You know what I'm saying? I truly believe that God is going to protect me no matter what. <laughs> it is what it is, man. But y'all let me know uh, that I just want to break that down. This is part two of this video. Literally just want to break that down to y'all because a lot of people didn't understand. And I did come off harsh. I could have came out more out of love. So that's just to break down the oppression and all that and things like that, man. That's just to break down that entire thing. And then with the Black Lives Matter and slash police brutality, bro, Black Lives Matter, I agree with the statement. The organization can kiss my black. You feel me? Y'all finish it. But the move, the, the the Black Lives Matter statement, I agree with that. But I also agree that all lives matter. It's not just one skin color live that matter. Every life matter. Your life matter. Your grandma life matter. Everybody life matter. And then another thing for all the people that was telling me, you know what, F the American fly, F this, F that, and I'm ended on this. You talking about F the American fly, but you living in America, soaking up all the benefits that America has to add, uh, has to uh, offer to every single race. So if it's F the American flag, how about you get your butt out this country and tell me how it is better off in another country? Cause not, not a lot of other countries accept your beliefs. You could believe in God, you could believe in Christianity, you could do whatever you wanna do, but the end, you could do whatever you wanna do in America, you step outside this country, it's gonna be hard for you. Why you think all the Africans, why you think all everybody try to come over here to America? 
it's better opportunities. So if it's F the American flag, get your butt out. Simple as that. Because you're not just saying F the American flag. You're saying F all the veterans that fought for this country. And if my granddaddy fought for this country, I don't know the man. Never heard if he fought for this country, but let's say he did. You just said F my granddaddy. And I take that very offensive. And I'm just going to say that right like that. If yo, if you, some of your people fought for, the, fought for this country, you just said F them too. I don't care how you put it. You just said F them. So if it's F the American flag, stop soaking up all the benefits America got to add. Uh, has to offer and get your butt out of here <laughs> we all americans that's true americans will help you pack i'm just being real i love y'all man but y'all let me know what y'all think uh on this on this part of the video uh this part two baby i'm done off this topic hopefully this clear up some things and like i said the title may be something crazy it may be something crazy. I need y'all to listen. The title may be something crazy because that's the title of the last video, but I'm going to add part two behind the title. Okay, so I need y'all to, you know what I'm saying? Open your eyes, open your, open your ears, because apparently, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.